This is the most YouTube views adjacent web series, The Birthday Blog. <laughs> My name is Tyler Anaya. And I am Cass Anaya. Happy birthday, May 14th. We make art based upon people's birthdays. Round three, where the events of May 14th started with, in the science category, the world's largest set of this particular dinosaur skeleton is seized by the FBI from the Black Hills Institute of Geological Research because it has supposedly been illegally taken from federal land. Yeah. In 1948, this country is proclaimed. It was established after World War II as a Jewish state situated safely in between Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, the West Bank, Egypt, and the Gaza Strip. Very safe. Yes, very safe. <laughs> really safe. It has never experienced any problems except for the next day when it was invaded by those Arab states in support of Palestine. It has been a sad, paranoid boil on the ass of peace since then. Good for you guys. <laughs> Good. And in 1856, American naval officer David Dixon Porter arrives in Texas with a shipload of these animals from Turkey. Probably turkeys. The first imported <laughs> into the United States for commercial purposes. So the Tyrannosaurus Rex was seized on this day. She would later be auctioned off for $8.36 million dollars. The highest amount paid for any dinosaur fossil. That's a, that's still a record since the 90s. Oh, really? Yeah. The 65 million year old Sue now lives at Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, Illinois, and I have seen her. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. Cool. She took. She traveled around for a little while, and she went to the Children's Museum, and I saw her there. Yeah. She's big. This country is Israel. You didn't say that Jewish enough. Israel. 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 We live in Israel. 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 You see, but the peace treaty says we give up this portion of the West Bank from here to here. And this is causing the the, the, the war and peace here in Israel. It, is, we will give up this region of here to here. As you can see, it's so important that, that this, this here becomes this here. And this animal is, of course, camels. And if you believe camel cigarettes, all of their faces look like giant dicks, apparently. And all their feet look like giant vaginas. Yes. So they're, they're, they're <laughs> like vagina feet dick face. Yes. yes. Camels, everyone, are dick face vagina feet. Oh, thank you, Tyler. Uh, now on round four, where the questions are a little harder. In the science category, this first space station is launched. The, the first uh, space station that, that Earth gets to say, that's a space station, it's in space, and it's a station. <laughs> and in Cold War history, this treaty is signed today between the USSR and all of these Soviet bloc countries as a mutual defense pact in opposition to NATO, the North American Treaty Organization. And these famous explorers take off on their westwardly expedition from St. Louis on this day to begin exploration of the Louisiana Purchase. I think I know the answer to this. Matthew Perry and Chris Farley. <laughs> <laughs> You're right! Hey. hey! On to the answers. The first space station was Skylab. Skylab was launched on this day. Terminator. Uh, the Warsaw Pact was signed on this day. That's uh, some good old Cold War stuff for you there. And Lewis and Clark, played oh. by Matthew Perry no, no, and Chris no. Farley. No, they beat out Lewis and Clark. Oh, and okay. Almost heroes. Oh. Yes. They were ahead they, of them? They were competing against them to get to California. It's Chris Farley's last movie. It's, it's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Though we love it when you do, please don't subscribe. I mean, come on. We're not doing this for you people. For people out there, we don't want to. We don't like doing this stuff, and we we don't we don't want you to actually subscribe. So don't. Uh, for the brothers and I, I'm Cass and I, and this is my brother Ty and I, and we're saying George Lucas, thank you for raping Jews. Raping Jews. <laughs> raping Jews. Raping Jews. You know, a lot of those. Those jokes that you made, I found offensive because a lot of people think that I'm Jewish because of the nose. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So I find it offensive. Jews. Ju um, no, 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 no.
George Lucas raped Jewish Native American retards. <laughs> That's who he raped. He raped Jewish Native American are we missing anything from this? I mean, that's what basically we made fun of in this show. Jewish Native American retards from Texas. <laughs>